Welcome back everyone and Happy New Year's! Today we have a very special video for you. We are going to do some top 5 cryptos to own in 2022. Coins that I believe should make you a lot of money. Some of them are safe investments, some of them are a little bit riskier. And then we're going to go over some coins that you shouldn't own. And also coins that I believe that if you take the risk, you could be rewarded. And some other coins that if you have the spare money, you should put a couple bucks into them and hold on to them because they could hit in late 2022 or 2023 or 2024. But they're so cheap right now that it's a no-brainer. We will also have a special guest. He is our new chief financial officer or analyst, whatever you want to call him. He will be giving us insights for some of the riskier coins, especially when they have moon in their name. So the first coin that we will go over, we have talked quite a bit. So sit back, relax, enjoy, grab a drink, some popcorn, and let's get started. Bezo Girth is our top coin for 2022. If you haven't heard of it, well, welcome. We will tell you a little bit about it and how to invest in it. And if you have already invested, well, congratulations. And I know a lot of our subscribers here are heavily in on Bezo Girth, And right now the price is still very cheap and very early on that you can buy in anytime right now and you are going to make some serious money in a month two three four months and by the end of 2022 this thing will be massive so the first thing they have going is legends of bizogia which is a free to play game and you'll be earning tokens with it as well obviously you can summon nfts and it's a huge open map i have obviously played this game live on this channel so if you click on the playlist down below for NFT games, you'll see me playing this game. It is phenomenal. You can still sign up to be an alpha tester. I am one and it should be going into beta, I believe in late January. That could change, but here is some gameplay as you guys can see. You're fighting these little Shiba doggies and collecting blocks. There's going to be mini games in it, quests, player vs player. There's a tons of, there's tons and tons and tons of things that are going to be built into this game. So they're taking their time. They're doing the scaling right now for the game. It's a huge open map. It is currently available on PC, obviously. And the better the graphics card you own, the better it looks. But it will be playable on some of the older graphics cards as well. So from what I have looked at, you can definitely play it on cards from like 2013, 2014, 2015. And even if you have like an old Dell XPS computer laying around, you'll be able to play it too. For the mobile, it's supposed to get ported at some point, but right now they're working on getting it launched on PC. Now there's obviously a lot of other stuff, because if you go over to their website, you can click on their Earth map, and what second, what do we got here? So the big thing that I am looking forward to is after the game is released, which I think is going to get this coin 40, 50, even 60 times up than what the price is right now is the Mimazoon e-commerce basically Amazon Prime that is a huge thing once they launch that or once they start working on it and get that into testing and trial ones which could be late 2022 then you're gonna see the price go even higher and pretty soon you'll also be able to stake some coin as well from what I heard uh, I do not know exactly when that's coming out but that's in the works but just to show you guys right now how cheap this coin is, let's go over here. Look at all those zeros. And we actually have 31,000 holders right now. That's it. There's only 31,000 people holding it. That's it. When Shiba went on their last one, they were thinking about 100 or 200,000 people holding the coin. And now they've gone up to about a million people holding it. Even more people holding it, but the big whales have sold off as well. So that's why the price has gone down on that. But we are so early in. We are so early that if you look at other coins like Doge and Shiba, when you look at them on the bottom, bottom, bottom of the chart, like a little dot there, that's where we are compared to their prices. Right on the bottom there. And then, you know, they lost a couple zeros and we will lose a couple zeros as well. But this is not a meme coin. This is an actual project that has potential. It's got an actual product coming out, and then there's more products on top of that. So if you haven't invested into it, 
I highly suggest you also do your own research and go to bezogue.com, B-E-Z-O-G-E.com, and then bezogia, B-E-Z-O-G-I-A.com, and do your research, download the alpha testing game, you can sign up to test, it could take a week or two weeks for you to get signed up and into it, but this has huge potential, and when we went on the run about, uh, let me take a look here, about, uh, about a month ago, at the all-time high I had bought in about two months ago and I can tell you that when it hit the all-time high I think I was up like seven or eight X or even nine X something around there then it obviously came back down because you had some people that had bought in months before and they had sold off and then they sold a bit and dropped the price down but I am still accumulating I'm still buying up I am buying the NFTs as well I will put links down below where you can buy the NFTs for Bizogia, so you can play in Legends of Bizogia when the game is fully launched. Now, compared to the other NFT games, a lot of people don't know is you will not need to own NFTs to play. Unlike Axie and a few other ones in Sandbox, you gotta buy land and everything. You have to put thousands of dollars into a game to play, and they're not really good. Like the gameplay is very, it's very like, it's like graphics from like an N64. Like it's just bad. While this game is modern, it looks like it could be developed by a AAA company. So, the good thing about Legends of Bizogia is you'll be able to download and play when it's launched fully. You'll be able to make a wallet right on there and earn tokens, and you won't have to own the NFTs. You can just click and play, and you'll be able to pick a Bizogi to go play, which will be the NFT, and you'll basically be renting it off of somebody, or they might have ones that just rented themselves and basically all of the coins and tokens you make there'll be a split ratio i believe it'll be 70 percent you keep and 30 percent goes to the person that owns the nft that could change so don't hold me to that but this will be a free to play game unlike the other nft games that are so overvalued right now with bugs and everything and obviously who wants to spend twenty thousand dollars on a piece of land to play a game that looks like it was built on an n64 and it's like donkey kong so I highly suggest you do some research, get into this coin, you won't regret it, and like I said, the price is going up and down here, you know, the last couple, well, last couple weeks, and I'm just still buying, I don't care if it's here, 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 I don't even care if it's up here, because once this starts getting known, the marketing starts coming out, people actually know this game, and it's starting to compete against the other ones, it's gonna go, it's gonna go way past this, it's gonna be like 10, 20, 30, 40, X, it'll just keep climbing and climbing as more people get into it. So wherever you buy on this range here, it it's irrelevant. You just buy it, hold it, and also when you're holding it, you earn reflections if you're holding it in a Coinbase wallet or on the MetaMask and Trust Wallet. So every time someone buys and sells a coin, you get a small percentage of that into your wallet. So you get free coins for holding. Fantastic. All right, guys. On to the next one. Next on our list is CKB Nervous Network, which is a bit of a hidden gem, not really well known, and I think I've mentioned it once or twice, but I haven't done an actual video on CKB. Now, there's a lot of info on CKB. This thing does a lot. It's still very early on. All of the marketing is geared towards developers, so it's not being talked about for, you know, pumping or to the moon or to this. It is a serious project. It's a very solid investment piece. Very solid. I would recommend this over basically a lot of other stuff. Now, this project isn't supposed to be completed until I believe 2024 unless that has changed. But I highly recommend you go to nervous.org, N-E-R-V-O-S.org and do a bunch of research on it. There's a ton of things to talk about on this. We're obviously going to keep it very, very short and we're going to talk about price and how much money you can possibly make. Because if we talk about all of its features and everything, we're going to be here for hours. There's just so much and there's so much things that have been coming out over the last week. It's just a lot. But basically, a small little description will be on the side here. Access to any asset, any blockchain. Choose your interface, choose your crypto and stick with it, but still access the entire space. The frustration of multiple wallets, exchanges and seed phrases is no more with Nervous, which is phenomenal. I do get frustrated because I don't even, I've, I've lost count how many wallets and everything I have, like a hundred, whatever. And I, I even have older ones from when I was mining and other ones that 
from dead coins to I just there's so much but this would be very helpful when it gets fully launched now if you click on token up here I'll bring you to what is CKB why is it unique and how to purchase obviously I currently own it on Voyager but there's a ton crypto.com is one popular one you could basically you can own it on any crypto exchange except coinbase its volume is kind of low to medium depending on the day but it's very early on and if you get into this it could easily go 5x i believe by april if you look at the chart here obviously it's a little bit it's been choppy there's been a lot of things obviously with all the coins over the last six weeks we've had house committee hearings from people that don't know anything about money that couldn't even buy 10 but we'll get to that later it is just so much fair in the market people selling off the december effect the january effect so the prices have gone up and down for all the cryptos but if you are a buyer and you are serious about making money in 2022 or 2023 then you just buy at any of these levels and you accumulate right now it's at two cents slash two tenths of a cent it had hit uh i believe like like three and a half cents a couple weeks ago i had bought this when it was under two cents and then i bought more when it reached three cents and i bought more when it came down i just keep buying this the goal for me is to have a couple million of these coins so we're slowly getting there for accumulation now this coin should easily be priced around 10 to 12 cents right now that's what it should be priced but it is very undervalued right now so if it goes up to 10 cents probably some point in January as more things go live if you look at the website you can click on their roadmap there's a lot going on and once they start marketing more towards the general public instead of the developers then the coin can really explode because then you have people that want to invest in it so if this goes to 10 cents you are basically 4x to 5x depending where you buy it in if it gets to two and a half cents so 4x to 5x your money you know, you put five grand in, you hit twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars. That's an amazing investment because the stock market return really in a year is always five to ten percent, but the average is seven percent. So where can you go four, five, six hundred percent up? It's crypto, and this is a very good coin to own, very safe investment, good store of value for the future. And like I said, the project ain't gonna be completed until twenty twenty four unless that has changed but that's what i'm still seeing it could be earlier or it could be pushed a little bit later but this is a great investment opportunity to make money you can just buy it and forget it you don't have to worry that there's going to be a rug pull or anything especially with those meme coins this isn't like that it's got an amazing development team all of the names are out there again i say go to the website and do your research Go to the Reddit group. There's a lot of information. This project has a lot going on. There's a lot of info to read. You could be reading for days and researching and asking questions. But if you want to make some money for 2022 or 2023, this is a coin to definitely own. I highly recommend it. And we'll go on to the next coin. Catcoin is our next coin to own for 2022. They have a NFT game to play. It is in beta testing. You can go to play.catcoin.club and you can download it right now to play on your PC. It is in beta testing right now and it should be coming out in about oh, I think a month or two months. I know the dates have changed a bit, but we are waiting for an updated roadmap as well on it. But this is basically a meme coin. It was made to compete against the Shiba and the Doge. But when they made it, they obviously had a plan for it. They were going to make a game and everything with it. So it wasn't just a pump or whatever, or it's cute cats or whatever. They were planning on doing the game and a few other small things. I highly recommend going to their website to find out more. But obviously, if you haven't seen this channel before, I have played this game a couple times. I will link down below to my NFT games playlist. And you guys can see me playing it and see how cool it is. It's very easy to play, very basic. Once the game comes out, you'll be able to uh, hook up a wallet to it or create one in the game and you'll be earning coin just by playing for free. And obviously, let's look at the tokenomics first to see what this can do in 2022. If we go over here to catcoin.club, the price right now has a couple zeros in front of it. There we go, one, two, three, four, five, 218, $1 buys you close to half a million coin. 
and we have 164,000 holders, which is not bad. It's not a lot for a crypto coin, obviously. Still very low, but it's not low, low, low. So it's not very an unknown, but there ain't many people searching it. It's about like 2,000 to 7,000 a day, so it's still unknown. I'm sure once the marketing kicks up, this coin is going to explode because everyone loves cats and with their easy to play game, which will be easy to download on a mobile app, actually on a mobile phone. Everyone will have it and this should really skyrocket. This has the potential to probably go 10x pretty easily in quarter one or quarter two of 2022. I believe, you know, between February to maybe June, that's when you should see some real price movement. Again, this is very unknown, but it does have a lot less coins out in circulation than our competitors here. Doge obviously has an unlimited supply, but we're in the billions now for what's out there, but that's kind of a dead project. We won't talk about that anymore. Shiba's got one quadrillion, but half of that is still floating around. And Catcoin, 100 trillion only, staking at 15% APY, hold it on, hold the zone, earn 2% on every transaction. Usage, DeFi meme platform, gaming platform, and there's a few other things that are going to be coming out. Right now, you can only buy it by exchanging. How to buy Catcoin? So you need a MetaMask wallet. You got to purchase BNB, Binance, and then you can exchange it using Pancake Swap. Obviously, you can do it on here. I believe you'll be able to do it on Uniswap as well. I believe actually this is powered by PooCoin, but I believe you can do it on Uniswap. I'll have to double check on that, but. This is a coin to earn. You can get in very cheap. Right now, I mean, you could put a couple hundred dollars in and just leave it alone. You don't have to check the price every day because once this gets known, especially since the game is very well built, I don't see any bugs with it. I haven't, I haven't seen any problems with it. It should be out very soon. Once that happens and it gets it should, a little bit of marketing and this thing is going to explode. So easy way to make money. That's what we all like. That's what you like. That's what I like. And if you've seen some of my other videos, I do like to buy exotic cars with my crypto that I sell. So I haven't bought into this yet. I will be buying into it in the next couple of days. Probably a thousand or two thousand dollars, maybe three thousand, depending how I feel. And depending if the price has gone up or gone down. And then I'm hoping I can make a video for you guys to show you what I buy in three to six months with my cat coin. So this is another one on our list. I highly recommend it. It's, you know, it's a very fun token. There's a white paper. Actually, is there a white paper? There's some audits on it, but I highly recommend going on the website and doing your own research as well before you buy. But we will be covering more of cat coin in 2022 and a few other meme coins that are trying to compete off the name because there's always fake cryptos. When there's a new crypto that comes out, there's always two or three fake ones that try to use the same name to get you so, to, so they can rug pull you. So you got to be careful when searching for certain coins. If you just type in cat coin without the E, you'll find a bunch of, um, you'll find a bunch of websites hosted in China that are trying to get you to buy a token that doesn't really exist and they just take your money. And that's the same with the Doge, the Shiba, there's so many of, there's, there's just so many fakes. A lot of scam coins, so you got to be aware of that. So make sure you're careful with Google searching and what website you're going to and where you exchange your coins for other coins. All right, on to the next one. Next on our list is Bitcoin. How obvious was that, huh? Well, every wallet should own it. Every portfolio should own it, obviously. And that's why it is on this list. Obviously, a lot of you guys do not have the heavy money to buy a full Bitcoin, but... You should have a certain percentage of it. You know, you can put a couple hundred dollars into it, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, whatever. It's just good to have and just to leave alone. You don't have to watch a price at all. It can go up or down, whatever. And if it drops, you can buy a little bit more either on Robinhood or any other crypto exchange. But for Bitcoin, I like to have it on Robinhood. I have a bunch of it on it. I have some on Coinbase. I have some on Voyager. I have some. I have Bitcoin on like basically... I think it'd be platform mostly. I just, you know, if I sell some coin on this different platform like Binance, I'm like, oh, okay, well, I can swap for free to Bitcoin. I'll do it and I'll just hold it. It's something that you should definitely have. It's basically a store of value. It's like gold. 
that's what Bitcoin is. It is the first crypto. So for all of you that do not know much about crypto and you just want a safe return and you're used to the 7%, say, on stocks, just own some Bitcoin, buy it, forget it. Especially if you're more traditional and uh, trained or you went to school for business and you know that every investment has a five-year plan, then if you do a five-year plan for this, it's going to really go up because five years ago, we were way down below. We, I think we were only like $1,000 five years ago, maybe. And then we went, and then we had that, that run up to $20,000 and then right back down. So five years, who knows where Bitcoin's going to go. Obviously, we're not going to cover this too much because everyone knows about Bitcoin. You've heard about it, but we're now at 46000 We had a huge sell-off about an hour, an hour and a half ago, and... You know, the price is up and down. It doesn't matter. It should have cracked $100,000 by now, but obviously we had the China ban news. We had just so much against it, but Bitcoin stayed strong, and so did all the other cryptos. A lot of people try to squash crypto, and it just got stronger this year and stronger. So it didn't hit $100,000 like it was projected to, but it's up quite a lot over the year. Uh, year to date, it is up 58.70%. That is a phenomenal number. Now, it's not the 5x or 6x or 10x or 100x that we're used to with some of the other meme coins and other crypto projects, but it's a good return on your investment. It's up 30% in six months. And obviously, it's down in three months because it had hit a high of what, $65,000, $66,000, I believe? That's okay. You buy it now, and if you watch my other video on accumulating over a year, you buy it now, and next year, if it's up another 58% or 100%, well, great. It doesn't matter how much money you put into it. $100, $1,000, you're still up that, you know, whatever the percentage it goes up to. So it's still a nice, safe investment. It's not going anywhere. Huge financial institutions are buying this up like crazy. So obviously, it's not going away, especially when you have banks and financial hedge funds, all this stuff, investing billions of dollars buying coins. It's not going anywhere. It's the next gold. It Actually, it has basically become gold. So, a safe investment, no risk. Uh, can we say no risk? Oh, is that risky? I don't know. But it's good to own some in your wallet. It will always go up or down, whatever. On to the next coin. Yes, our last coin on our top five list is the Shiba. We have a lot of mixed opinions here. And... It's well warranted, obviously, because it started off as a meme token and, like the site says, a vibrant ecosystem. Over 1 million people are holding it. As of the last time I checked, it could have changed. It's going up and down. But it is a coin that you should probably own a bit of it for 2022 into 2023. Obviously, they have an NFT trading card game for the mobile phones that's going to be coming out in... Uh, early 2023 the game should be ready for viewing or testing probably in a four five six months the contract they signed i believe is only for eight or nine months so at some point by next year we should have some more news on the game obviously they have a lot of other things they got the shiba swap they have a decentralized exchange that they're working on there's tons of other projects and now they have the dao thing so i highly recommend you do your research but I'm sure you haven't gone anywhere without somebody mentioning Shiba, which is hilarious because even when I'm at a coffee shop, you got these old timers that, you know, they, they got to be 80 or 90 and they're talking about, have you heard about this Shiba? How do we buy Shiba? And they look like they don't really know much about a computer, but even the old timers are getting into it. So it's something that you should probably have a bit of it. Obviously, it all depends how comfortable you are with gambling. This is a coin that could really go up 5x to 10x. I don't think it's going to hit a penny or 10 cents. That could happen in 5 to 10 years if a lot of other factors happen, like thousands of other factors happen, if like governments collapse and economies do. But the way we're going, that's <laughs> highly possible actually. So, the Shiba. Now, if you saw my previous video, or if you're new here, welcome. Now, I had actually bought quite a bit of it. I still own quite a bit of it. I have bought back in again. If you saw my DB7 video, I had sold quite a bit at the high to purchase an Aston Martin DB7 Vantage. Obviously, I have 
quite a bit. I know some of my subscribers say quite a bit. We got a few of you that have four to five billion Shiba and counting. Some of you only have 100 million, 200 million, 300 million. And I remember when I had bought the Shiba, I believe $20 bought me like 15 or 16 million Shiba at the time. So I kept buying in $20 waves and $50 waves. And then there was a time, some point in August, it just it dropped oh, like like 20% overnight or something. And I had bought more then. And that was a great time. And I, like I said, I still own a lot of Shiba. So Shiba's big thing was to lose that zero, and it got close. The highs, it, it almost happened, but now it's come back down, and people are panicking, calling it a scam, this and that. Well, it basically tells you it was a meme. It is a meme. So it's a very high-risk, volatile thing to invest in, obviously. But it is worth the risk, I believe. I've been going back and forth if you should own it, if you should not own it. But if you have the free capital, the free money, and you are a risk taker you can be very well rewarded at some point in late 2022 especially if you bought in when we had one more zero in front which is what i did and i know some of you did as well some of you bought when it went on coinbase so if you scroll out here uh where are we wow yeah that there those were the highs right there and then obviously it was coming can you guys see yeah it was coming back down and it's so it it this run, basically it spiked up on the price because of what it could possibly do in the future. So it basically had people buying in for what could happen in the future with the Shiba, not what was actually on the table. So then you obviously had people that had bought in way before, like me and a few other people. And obviously, yeah, why not? If you know. If you put in a thousand dollars and you know you're up to like twenty, thirty thousand dollars, forty, fifty, or whatever you bought in over the summertime, you're gonna sell some. Obviously, it's a no-brainer. Especially some people that you know only put a few bucks in and they have a really horrible day job, and they saw it go up to the couple thousands. Yeah, they're gonna sell some because they want to enjoy the holidays, and that's what happened. Obviously, because there was not really no product really out yet, so it's been coming down, it's been retracing itself, and now it's it's trying to go up there. And there's also the news that Robinhood is working on getting it integrated onto the system for a late February, early March listing. So when that happens, it will definitely skyrocket. So right now, the price is fantastic to buy in. I thought it would go back into the twos like it did on December 20th, but it hasn't. But still, I'm gonna I'm accumulating here and there. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I own it on Voyager. Voyager gives you 2% if you hold more than 15 million. So you get free coin every month, which is fantastic. They're obviously probably staking quite a large position in it. They probably bought the Shiba months ago. They probably bought like trillions of it. So, it's quite interesting. But, again, this is a... It was a meme coin. This is kind of a riskier bet, but it's still good to have. It's got such a big backing and following, bigger than Doge, that it's worth the risk. Alright, guys. That was the top five. And now we're going to go over some coins that you should definitely have. And then we're going to go over some and have a guest star of some coins that you should never own or touch. Now let's get started. Our first coin to own for 2022 slash 2023 that if you have the extra funds, this is a good one to have just in case it really does climb once Ethereum stops mining, is Ravencoin. It is one of the few last coins that is mineable. And the thesis or the theory is that once Ethereum stops from proof of work and switches over to proof of stake, all of those miners that have graphics cards are not just going to flood the market. Some of them are going to flood the market and try to sell the graphics cards, but most of them is going to come over to Ravencoin. And right now, Ravencoin is pretty quiet. The marketing was really only aimed at developers. It's a, basically the code was done and it was given out to the public. So anyone can work on it. Anyone can do whatever projects they want. There's no core development team behind it that is pushing and doing this or that. It's free. It's free to use. It's open, open software. So basically, I can decide to create an NFT game and use it on the Ravencoin network. That's how it is. It's just open. So 
It just needs some developers to come or some basically some new fans to come and find it and that's what it's having trouble with but i believe that will probably happen in mid to late 2022 once all of the ethereum miners come over obviously a lot of miners on ethereum are also using ethereum for their projects and once they start coming over to raven to mine to get some profits they'll probably start working on projects there that is the thesis now there's only a small amount of coin out there there's 10.5 42 billion floating around the max supply is 21 billion coin that's a lot different than the other ones like the other meme coins that have quadrillions trillions and this and that right now we're at nine cents it's been floating back and forth between seven eight nine and ten cents we hit a high actually well recently about two months ago we hit around 15 cents its high was 25 cents but some exchanges saw it at 30 cents but i didn't see it at that point but it's okay so this is a coin that if you have a couple hundred dollars just free a thousand bucks you're like eh, i'll take a chance in case it could become the next ethereum this is it you can buy it on binance uh, it's not on many exchanges i suggest going to the raven coin foundation you can type it in and doing some research and joining them on reddit but this is a coin that i recommend if you just want to own it and forget about it and it could be the next ethereum but I think we're six to eight months before any crazy price action. We could go back up to 15 cents in a month or two months or even three months, but I think we're six months to a year out before any real price movement. And like I said, if you looked at my video for prices for the beginning of 2021 to the end of 2021, there was a lot of coins like Ravencoin that were unknown. People were like, that's they're dead. Nothing's going to happen. And they were like $0.08, cents, $0.09, cents, $0.10, cents, $0.25, cents, whatever. And they went up to a couple dollars. Some even went up to $100. So anything is possible, guys. So you can just buy, hold, and check back in a year. On to the next coin. Our next coin to own a few in your wallet, especially on Binance, is the One Inch Network. This is a very low market cap coin. There isn't that many coins floating around. Its max supply will be 1.5 billion, I believe. Let's uh, double check on coin market cap. Yes, 1.5 billion. So only 422 million are in circulation right now, which is fantastic. If you don't know, it is a DeFi slash DEX aggregator. I recommend going to oneinch.io to read more. There's a lot of info to read up about it. And this should go 2 or 3x in some point in, I believe, uh, you know, the first quarter, January to February, March, around there, easily, because right now it's very low. It's a great buying opportunity. If you check here on the uh, trading view, you can see it. It's at 237, but it is up 74% year to date. Its 52 week range was between 94 cents. To seven dollars and eighty-seven cents. Obviously, that high was probably when Bitcoin was at its high as well, and everything was going up. But it's still, it's a, it, it is a bargain right now because, like I said, there's not many of the coin floating around. So once there's more marketing on this coin, once more people know about this Definance exchange as well, and how it can swap and everything, and it can do a lot of other things too. A lot of people are going to be investing into it. And once that happens, this coin should easily be 10 to 20 to $20. But right now, it's still kind of unknown. It's very low. Its volume is also uh, very low as well. It's, it's, yeah, very, it's very low volume. So that's actually good. You know, it's not that known. It's, it's not that traded. Easy to buy in right now and just hold. As you can see, over one year, it's on 74.23%. Year to date, uh, in one year, it's actually in, in one year it's up 105, but I don't know why the year to date is 74. Okay, it's okay. The technicals on here might be a little bit off, but uh, can you guys see them actually? Uh, you guys can't see them because of the banner down below, but it's okay. So, this is a coin that I have definitely bought a few. I'm probably going to buy maybe another thousand coins of this maybe a thousand a thousand five hundred just to have it's always good to diversify your portfolio especially when you can afford to do it it's always good to have multiple coins because one of them will hit or two of them or you could have a good year like 2021 was and every single coin in your portfolio has gone up so 
it's going it's good to own multiple because some could go a thousand x some could go 10x 5x 3x whatever and then you know if big investment firms get into it to the moon like they say all right guys now we are going to have a special guest on he's a chief financial officer or analyst and we're going to go over some other coins that you maybe shouldn't own but we'll ask him and we'll see what he says about owning these coins let's introduce our chief financial officer welcome what do you think about safe moon they just launched the version 2 of it they don't have a white paper really the price is just up and down a lot of people are diehard fans and if you call it a scam or question it you are the devil you are the worst person ever you're fear-mongering what do you think have you been investing in the safe moon are you sure are we gonna go like a hundred x to the moon or a million x so we're all gonna become billionaires Should I invest in anything that says safe or moon in it? But I thought the moon. It's not safe. What about that? Safe? What should I do? Alright, our chief financial officer has no words about safe moon. We're not sure what's going on over there, but if you want to burn your money, just take it outside. And light it on fire. Much safer investing in ashes than in safe moon. Alright guys, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.